great. <coughs> it is a truly beautiful town, and this this art museum is just spectacular. I've really never seen something so amazing as far as the um, the artwork in here. It's truly a gem, and you know, it just brings it. More people need to see. Um, we've only stopped one other artist in the middle of the show. That was Charlie Daniels, and it's very rare that we do stop a concert. But uh, on a rare situation like this, I think it's appropriate. And we have two, two things we need to take care of tonight, if you don't mind joining me with this. Um, the first thing is, yes, uh, Miss June Winiko is here tonight. It is Elvis Presley's first true love. If you would give her a round of applause. Please. If you didn't know, I'm going to let you know now, Ronnie McDowell is a fine artist. Since we're in the art museum, I'm going to tell you, he's, a, he's an incredible artist. And June's holding a piece of artwork I just wanted to share with you. This is something that, that Ronnie McDowell did. Uh, it was presented to June, and as you can see, it's Elvis. But there's a little story to it. You see um, June is holding a rose, and you can see that it slipped from her fingers. Um, Ronnie, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is to represent Elvis slipping from her grasp. It's a beautiful picture, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. He's an incredible artist, and... I know that's something that June treasures, and of course, uh, her time and, and love with Elvis Presley, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, this, month would have, uh, this month would have been Elvis Presley's 84th birthday. Um, he's dearly missed by everybody in the street and all of his fans and family. And um, I just ask right now if everybody give a round of applause for Elvis Presley, because he was a great yeah. yeah. boy. With that said, we had a presentation in Biloxi at, at the, uh, the mayor's uh, council meeting a couple weeks ago, and we presented June Renico with the uh, MMP Music Award. She became the first female ever to receive the, the Mississippi Music Award. She also became the first non-musical artist or talent to receive the award, so it was very historical that night. Um, unfortunately, there was a little mishap with the, uh, the actual award. So, I hope you didn't mind, but I wanted to present her again in front of a crowd and just thank June Winiko, and uh, I'd like to present her the Mississippi Music Award at this time. June is an incredible person. I uh, can't say enough good about her. If you haven't had a chance to talk to June, please make that opportunity to take a chance and talk to her. She's just an incredible person. And Here the stories you. that she has, <laughs> I'm telling you, some I can't tell you. <laughs> but I love all those stories because I'm Elvis's biggest fan. Next to me. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you got. So what was it like to kiss Elvis? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody what it was like? <laughs> <laughs> I've kissed Elvis, but I've kissed Ronnie as well. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, she is one heck of a kisser. <laughs> because I, I met her, I won't go ahead and tell this, June, you're not going to like this, but I... I met her for her birthday up at the IP. I worked at the IP for years, and she was celebrating her 80th birthday. This is the most amazing thing because I want you to look at this young lady. Uh, she looks unbelievable. But on her 80th birthday, I walked up to her, and she grabbed me and kissed me <laughs> like I ain't never been kissed in my life. And she said... I told you when I saw you, I was going to lay one on you. Didn't <laughs> but anyway, this is one. You know, no wonder Elvis loved this girl. And that's a God's truth. I understand. So give her a big hand. What do we do? All right. Uh, I know the mayor of Ocean Springs, Mayor Dobson, had planned to be here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen him arrive. Uh, he did have another engagement. So I would like to read something on behalf of the City of Ocean Springs. Okay. All right. The City of Ocean Springs, Mississippi Proclamation in recognition of Ronnie McDowell. Whereas the City of Ocean Springs is proud to recognize the musical accomplishments of Ronnie McDowell. And whereas Ronnie McDowell, a well-known country musician, a Vietnam veteran from Portland, Tennessee, has charted a string of hit singles and albums for, 
for Epic between 1979 and 1986. And, whereas Ronnie McDowell has sold over 5 million copies of his hit, The King Is Gone, which is a tribute to the late Elvis Presley. He also scored a top 10 hit with It's Only Make Believe, which is a duet with Conway Twitty. McDowell also teamed up with Jerry Lee Lewis for the rocking duet titled You're Never Too Old to Rock and Roll. And, whereas other chart-topping hits include Older Women, You're Gonna Ruin My Bad Reputation, Watching Girls Go By, Personally, In a New York Minute, and his tour with Conway Twitty, Tammy Wynette, Loretta Lynn, and whereas Ronnie McDowell is still in demand and touring relentlessly with his band. He was the very first honorary member of the Mississippi Music Project, and I don't think you knew that, but you were the very first. Now, therefore, I, Shay Dobson, Mayor of the City of Ocean Springs, do proudly present this proclamation and recognition, recognizing the musical accomplishments of Ronnie McDowell, and hereby proclaim Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019, as Ronnie McDowell Day. Like I said, I don't think Ronnie recognized that, but he was the very first, um, I guess you'd say, celebrity member of the Mississippi Music Project. Uh, he was the reason that that we actually started this organization. Uh, and, uh, we, give you a, we give you a lot of credit for that. We, we sought you out, and um, when, when we made contact you and you agreed to join our organization, it was like a kickstarter to get the whole thing started. So we thank you. Well, thank you. Wow. With that, I would also like to present Ronnie McDowell with our prestigious award, the Mississippi Music Award. Elvis's uh, home state. I'm very proud to accept this, and it's unbelievable to be here in one of my favorite little towns in America, Ocean Springs. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and and then thank all of you. And June, thank you very much. Uh, I tell her, uh, I've already told y'all this, but uh, when I seen her tonight, she kissed me, and I said. June, you got the best sugar I ever had in my life. <laughs> so anyway, hey, thank y'all, and June, I love you, and, and thank you for showing me that. I haven't seen that since 1911. <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, thank y'all very much. And now, here's Ronnie Dean to play Wipeout like you ain't never oh, heard wow. like that. Check this out.
than you. You can go a little faster, can't you? I don't know. He goes faster. I've seen him do it before. Put those hands together. You clap your hands. Keep up with it now. Come on. Faster. Here you go. Faster. 